Shall we get started? What now? Whose soul will you touch? Between the Cogna and Mirages, I could really use a break. Can't wait till this is over, and I can get back to Blitzball training. I've got my own business to attend to, as long as he's still out there. As for me, I know that once Bahamut is dealt with and the Cogna are gone, I've always dreamed of becoming an instructor. <laughs> Squall, you okay there, buddy? Don't think I've ever seen you like this. You look kind of troubled. So you... You've all given some thought to what happens next. You've got aspirations. And you all know where you're going. But not... me. Nothing? Come on. You must have put something on hold for this. What were you gonna do with your life? I mean, once all the bad guys are gone for good, what's the first thing you want to do? Like, there can't be nothing. You want to know what I'm planning to do with my life? I never thought about it. I guess I have no future. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being undemanding. Is Titus right? No, it's worse than that. It's like I'm empty. I've got no dreams. I don't think I even know how to dream. All I really know is fighting. Is that what my life is? Once the Federation has been destroyed, will I no longer have a purpose? Squall! We've picked up a powerful mirage. Shulk is already en route. Can you go? Sure. I'll take care of it. Besides, it's not like I've got anything else important on the horizon. I'm here now. I'll take over. Hold on a minute. Let's team up. It'll improve our chances. If we attack both Just stay of back. I said I've got it. Huh? <laughs> Would you let me finish this time? If we work Just to get- Just stop. Fighting is the only thing I've got. I'm not like the rest of you. You've got bright futures. I won't let you get hurt. Leave that to losers like me. Hmm? Then put your fears to rest. I'm like you. I have nothing to live for beyond this. I am ready to die in battle, whenever that moment should come. What? But... still... Please. You just said that fighting is all you've got. If so, you must know exactly how I feel. I have no dreams. As such, I've no incentive to survive this war. In fact, I have a very compelling incentive to not survive. So why don't we do this? Let's go out guns blazing. End it all here and now. Discharging all our magic at once would destroy that mirage. Yeah. Right. If I really thought that the world would be better off without me. If I'm that sad, that desperate. Fine. But I don't think that. Not enough to give up on living. No way. Hmm? No guns blazing. I do have a dream. Sorry. No dying today. You know what I dream? That one day, I'll fill the world with flowers. Huh? Think about it. Flowers make people relax. The way I see it, they help make the world more peaceful. When this is over, I was hoping you would come and plant with me. So, don't go dying on me now. If you don't have your own dream, you can find one later. All right? Life is just too precious. Glad you're catching on. Now quit your moping. Stop dragging yourself in the dirt and work with me. Shulk. 
Did you play me? Well, after your talk with Titus, I noticed you seemed somewhat down. <laughs> you got me. Won't do it again. So, you ready? Future's waiting. It's a nice thought. Maybe we can help him plant those flowers. We could scatter the seeds from Balam Garden. <laughs> we could. I've got this. You know, it may actually not be such a bad idea. Hmm? Filling the world with flowers once this is all over. Cut it out. It was the only thing I could come up with. <laughs> what do you say we head back? Everyone's waiting. Hello. What 
it now. Whose soul will you touch? Don't worry, Yuna. You'll be fine as long as I'm here. That Mirage, it's Bismarck, right? I can take him. Uh, thank you. But we're here to fight him together. You don't have to take him alone. You got it. So, is it me, or do we have something here? Like we're soulmates, wouldn't you say? Ah, uh, uh, this is no time for silly jokes. We need to focus on the battle that lies before us. <laughs> okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I just want to help us relax. Loosen up for the big fight. Right. Let's roll out. From what Quistus was telling us, Bismarck should still be somewhere in this area. So, hey, if I remember right, don't they call Bismarck the Shining Demon? Seems kind of weird. Shining doesn't sound threatening. Like, between Shining Yuna and Shady Yuna, Shady Yuna sounds bad, but Shining Yuna sounds cool. Titus, let's save the analysis for later. Right now, we need a plan in case things go wrong. Say we fail to defeat Bismarck. Valifor and I will create a diversion so that you hey, can... Hey, hold up. What say? We maybe think some happier thoughts? There's nothing wrong with being prepared for the worst. But I promise you, on my honor as a summoner, I will keep you safe. Come on now, Yuna. I'm glad you're looking out for me. I am. But can't you at least let me pretend like I'm helping? See, there's this thing about guys. Huh? What thing about guys? Actually, I think I just as soon not know. A good summoner has to know people to help people. Right? Guys are like half the population. You don't want to be 50% summoner, do you? Well, that's fair. So if I understand you correctly, then learning about men is an education. That's right. I don't want to scare you with all our deep and complicated emotions. So let me just give you the broader points. Number one, we like to flirt. Uh, I knew that you weren't taking this seriously. <laughs> but you were taking it so seriously that I couldn't help it. <laughs> okay, I'll admit you did get me to relax. There, that's more like it. If you don't enjoy yourself, then what's the point of going on a quest? Oh, hey, check this out. You ever whistle? <sighs> That's wonderful. A sound that clear could cut through anything. <gasps> Wait, that's perfect. Huh? If we ever get separated, you can just whistle to signal for help. Okay? And then I'll come running. <sighs> you know, you seem real set on coming to somebody's rescue before this day is over. So, now you whistle. <sighs> okay. <sighs> That's okay. I won't need it. I never ask others for help. Why not? So you're a summoner. So what? There's no shame in asking for help when you need it. Titus, you've already been there for me once when it mattered the most. Then let me be there again. It's not like anyone's keeping score. <sighs> Why is it that you're so... Up, uh, we got company. Dude, it brought its own water? I suppose that's just how this mirage rolls. Make sure you have the doc's medicine at the ready. 
just in case we get sucked in, okay? Yes, the ma'am! I've got this.
like we did it, right? Hello? Titus? Huh? Where did he go? <gasps> hey, Titus! <gasps> Titus! No, no. He was right here. Wait, if I whistle for him, maybe he'll come back like nothing happened. I can't. I just can't do it. Titus. Ow, 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 ow. That last shot there, I'll tell you, it really packed a punch. Yuna! You all right? Hey! <laughs> Silly. Of course I'm all right. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, you want to head back? Uh, sure. Let's go. Welcome to the rift between dreams and time. What now? Whose soul will you touch? There have just been new sightings of an extremely powerful mirage. I need for the two of you to take care of it. Terra is already stationed close by. Once she's freed up, I'll tell her to rendezvous with you and help out. Got it. But there won't be anything left to help with. One of us is gonna take that mirage down first. Wanna make it a race, Cloud? <laughs> Not interested. There's a village. Why don't we ask around about the Mirage? Maybe they've seen it. Hey, question for you. Have you seen an unusual Mirage in the area? Oh, you'd better believe that I've seen it. <sighs> I've never been so scared in my life. When it came here and attacked the village, I was just about ready to give up all hope. But that's strange. I don't see a whole lot of damage. Where did the Mirage go? You'll never believe it. This silver-haired swordsman came and drove it off. The way he wielded that long blade of his, it was a sight to behold. Did you say silver hair? Hey, tell me where he went. Cloud, we're here to look for a mirage, not a swordsman. Don't get sidetracked. I'm pretty sure that the mirage retreated to the mountains. The swordsman went the opposite way. Got it. Thanks a lot. Cloud? Sorry, but I'm going after that guy. Take care of the Mirage. What? Hey, you can't just leave. Cloud! Who is this? Swordsman. I've been waiting too long to pick up his trail. This time, I'll... Cloud! I didn't expect to find you here. Terra. Oh, yeah. Quistus mentioned that you were close by. Listen. Something else came up. You should go track down Lightning in case she needs your help. Something came up? You left Lightning to face that Mirage all by herself? What could possibly be so important? Look, there's this guy. I've been hunting him for a while. Now I'm finally right on his heels. I'm not gonna let this chance slip away. Hunting him? Cloud, you're scaring me. Why are you after this person? Did he do something to you? He took someone away from me. Forever. So when you find him, what are you going to do? Will killing him bring back the woman that you lost? <sighs> this 
isn't any way to honor her memory. To take your love for her and turn it into hate? Especially when it makes you abandon your friends! You have to decide. What's more important? Is it anger and revenge? All right then. One of us will stick by lightning. I know what I care about. Her safety. I didn't... Lightning! You okay? Yeah, thanks. This one's a real handful. I bumped into Cloud on my way over. But he said he was busy hunting someone. It's okay. Just forget about him. Hey! Look out! Weren't you out looking for that silver-haired swordsman? I remembered I had something more important to do. Tara, I'm sorry. I get it now. I almost sacrificed others I care about. Never again. No. I won't lose anyone else I cherish. I swear. Oh, yeah? So can I take that as official confirmation that you cherish us now? Yeah. There's not a thing I don't cherish. Who's this silver-haired guy Cloud's after? It sounds like he passes the in and out of Grimoire without belonging to it. An anti-champion. An ant champion? I said the anti! Instead of helping to save the world, he hurts it by creating even more of the chaos and suffering. There are people like that out there? Maybe the one day you'll meet him in an expansion... Whoops, never the mind. Anyway, he's not in Grimoire at the moment, so I wouldn't have to worry about him too much right now. I've got this.
We did it! Oh, yeah! I might have known. You two would try to butt in. It's good to have you back. Thank you. Don't think for a second that I've given up on my search. But... Now that I've got my priorities straight, I won't mess them up. <laughs> so, let's go. You can practice your cherishing on the way home. Welcome to the rift between dreams and time. What now? Whose soul will you touch? Is there something wrong, Quistus? Oh, I just wish I was less busy. I hardly have any time to keep exploring the garden. Well, there's not much you can do. Still, remember when we moved seed here? Feels like ages ago. Yeah. We were conducting an airship test flight in the area when boom, there the garden was. It was crawling with mirages, but it was worth it for the technology and magic alone. The stuff here is way beyond what we had at the time. A brand new airship engine, this gun blade, the draw tech. Yeah, but we should have been more careful. The machines went berserk after we gave them to Shinra. In retrospect, isn't it possible they were connected to the Cogna? We should have done our homework better before handing over our findings. Hmm? So you're saying that the garden is tied to the Cogna somehow? Isn't that kind of a stretch? I see. You never did give Rain and Lon full access here. Now I know why. Just so you know, they still think it's because you don't trust them. What do you want me to do? If the garden really is some kind of Cogna Haven... Oh, don't worry. Our friend here isn't like that. Eiko? Hm? Wait, what do you mean, our friend? Do you know something about the garden? Well, it's really more of a feeling. You know Big Bridge? I think the garden here is very much like him. Huh? So... Right. Maybe Balam Garden is just one big mirage. Although, when I reach out to touch its mind, it doesn't respond to me in the slightest. It must be sleeping way, way more soundly than I have ever seen with Big Bridge. Shall I try waking it up? Uh, is that a good idea? 
I don't think that it means us any harm. But if things do get out of hand... Got it. We'll deal with whatever comes up. <sighs> I guess so. Why, thank you. Hey. Think you could wake up so we can talk? Can I ask what your name is? Eden. Eden of Balaam. Eden. <gasps> oh no! So it is connected to the Cogna? No. Eden's saying that waking it up opened some kind of pathway to another world. Usually, it chooses to stay in a deep sleep in order to keep the path closed. That's the only way this world will stay safe. Either way, we need to send them back. So, there are places like this where the Cogna can just break through? I'm not this sure myself, but if the Cogna have already taken over a world that's in close to contact with Grimoire... I, I'd rather not to think about it.
trouble at all. Predictable. Looks like Eden went back to sleep. I think we're okay. The garden should be safe from danger, as long as our friend doesn't wake up. Got it. We'll take care not to disturb it. <laughs> the best is yet in store. Might even be in my store. Welcome to the Chocolate Mart. Without purpose must be destroyed. Huh? What do you mean some of the black mages have stopped moving? How could that happen? I thought you were all training together the whole night. A mirage? came to the training grounds threatening to destroy us all? Does that mean it's time? Hey, remember that conversation we had? About what we're doing in this world? What our purpose is? Our memories only go so far back, you know? To the moment our paths crossed with Rain and Lon. I think Maybe the reason we came to this world was so they could find us. And once our job is done, it could be our lives are supposed to end. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. However we started out, that's not who we are now. Together, we'll drive that creature away. without purpose must be destroyed. Uh, tell me, are you the Mirage hunting my friends? What do you want? Just leave us alone! Tools do not have a choice. Tools that are no longer useful must be destroyed. So much for trying to talk this one out. Come on! We fight! Golems need to be taught a lesson. Vivi's not a tool, he's a person. Yeah, and more than that, he's our friend. I've got this.
that golem said that we were just tools to be disposed of. But that's not true. We chose to fight, and we managed to beat him. We are nobody's tools. Am I not right? Edgar said something to me once, and now it makes sense to me. Don't you see? We don't need a purpose to live. Life is the purpose. <laughs> You've come a long way, Vivi. Right. Come on. Let's go. We all have a job to do. It's up to you and me to keep Figaro's people safe. I know exactly what to live for now. Another day. Hmm. <sighs> Do you mind if I take a little nap? What now? Whose soul will you touch? That's Alexander's voice. What could be wrong? Tell me, when and where were you born? Oh... So then you are from the same place as me. Whoa, wait, I know you! Come to think of it, even back then you used to tower over everyone else. You don't remember? You came and challenged me so you could be next in line for the throne. But of course, my mother's chains didn't stop me from winning. I toppled you even though you were hundreds of times bigger. What a state we left that part of the palace in. They were cleaning that mess up for quite a while. <laughs> well, don't sound so surprised. You know, this world you're in is a part of me. Oh, now I see. The summoner who brought you here so long ago was similar to Lon and Rain, someone who had inherited some of my power. The bloodline of Grimoire's first summoner has been so busy. Those Farnas. There are so many like you in this world now. There's Eden of Balaam. Then there's the Loot of Ragnarok. The Midgardian Ormer. There's you, of course. And who else? Hmm? What do I want with you? Actually, I'm not here to see you. I'm here for the one hiding in you. You there! Show yourself! Distressing. I see you're making yourselves at home over there. Oh well. Champions will show up there in due time. Just like they have here in Grimoire. Lon! Rain! Whoa, 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 whoa. What the? Okay, it's all yours now. Wait, all of what is? Uh, and a crow? But how can? When did you? What? What is that thing? I guess it must be the most powerful cockna in Grimoire right now. You don't even know. This world looks to the two of you as its saviors now. Go make us proud. But what are we doing? Dude, we totally did not come prepared for this. Uh, and a crow! Don't just leave us here! Tell us what is going on!
got this.
level at all. Oh, yeah! What was that about? I was wondering about all the ruckus. What are you up to now? Aiko? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like it's our fault. We didn't cause any ruckus. Well, someone must have woken Alexander up, because I could hear him making all kinds of noise and... Huh? He's telling me to thank you. Some pest was bothering him. He said he was in pain until you showed up, or... something like that. Hmm, I don't know what that's about, but I guess I'd better thank you, too. Rescuing Alexander like that was very brave. Cross Alexander whenever you like. Do you mind if I take a little nap? 
What now? Whose soul will you touch? now see you soon shall we get started what now whose soul will you touch Something's out there. <sighs> I know, Fenrir. You can sense it, too. If it's making my horn act up like this, then it can only be a mirage with some kind of connection to my tribe. We'd better go check it out. Hmm. Is this the spot? <sighs> I can feel it. Are you the Mirage who's been calling us? What is it? You don't mean to fight us. Fenrir, get ready! Oh, cool. I didn't know Aiko's horn was real. Sure seems that way. It used to be that every the summoner was the symbolized by their horn. Huh, I didn't know that. So, Aiko must be descended from an ancient line of them. strong but it's strange there's something about him that feels so familiar hey is there a reason you called out to us like that huh what echo we are so proud of you still so young and yet you have carried the tribe's heavy burden with head held high thank you is that the mirage talking wait I know this voice. Echo. These are dark times, and Grimoire faces a terrible crisis. The world will soon have need of the power our tribe possesses, and the mirages who answer our call. The mirages who answer our call? What do you mean? Are there others out there besides Fenrir? You share a connection with many mirages. You must find them. 
Join their power with yours, and wield it well. The future is yours. May it be bright. Uh, wait! You are not alone, Eiko. The tribe will always be watching over you. Fenrir. Know who that was? That had to have been one of my ancestors' mirages. Come to think of it, Grandfather once told me, after I celebrate my 16th birthday, I would be able to form bonds with many different mirages. But now, I need to focus on the things I can accomplish in the present. After all, I've still got a long, long way to grow. Fenrir, can I count on you to be there for me? Yeah. Grimoire is in danger. And if it needs my tribe's power, the summoner's power, then I'll share it with you. Rain, Lawn. Welcome to where fantasy melds with reality. What now? Whose soul will you touch? I must do my part and fight. Whatever's out there, I'm going to have to face it with courage. The mirage in these latest reports sounds particularly nasty. Cloud? Oh, right. He's not here. Squall! No, he's out on a mission too. I'll take this one. Tara? Are you ready for it? Yes. If you need my help, I can fight. Okay then. But be extra careful, please. Something feels off about this one. One witness said, I can't believe a freak of nature like that even exists. I'm quoting that word for word. A mirage that's too hideous to be true? I see. You can handle this, Terra. Come on. <laughs> oh, this one's a tasty morsel. I'd love to get my tentacles around her. Uh, who are you? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Ultros. This puss belongs to an octopus extraordinaire. Uh, hold on. Is this the mirage from the reports? Hey, someone has been causing trouble around here. Is it you? Oh, no! I would never! But I know the crook you're after. Oh, what a fiend! How's this? Why don't I help you out and show you the way to his lair? Huh? Really? Oh, I'd love to! <laughs> She's more than tasty. She's so deliciously naive, I can't resist! I think I might have just bagged me a winner here, folks! Hmm? What did you say? Uh, nothing worth repeating. Hey, um, about that hideous mirage, would you say it's nearby? Oh, it'll still be a ways. Listen. Could you tell me where you're taking me? <laughs> uh, why, somewhere that you and I can have plenty of fun together, of course. What? Then this whole time, you've been lying to me? You really are a nasty mirage. But this is it. You're through! <laughs> All right, you got me. I might have told a fib. But no, I'm not the nasty McNast you're hunting for, I swear. It doesn't matter. You deceive people for who knows what awful purposes. Never again. Why, you? Fine. Be that way. Didn't 
want to keep up the act anyway. You want to know who's been inking up a stink in this neighborhood? Ultros has. Ooh, shocker. <laughs> huh? What's wrong? And tell me, does that make me a bad octopus? Sorry, so sorry! I can't believe Tara actually trusted this creep. Yep, she's much too the gullible. One day it's gonna be her undoing, I'm afraid. No, no, you've gotta believe me! I'm actually a really nice guy, an octopus guy. Actually, I'm just an octopus. What, really? Oh, well, why didn't you tell us that sooner? Wait, what part of him looks really nice? Huh? Well, no part of him, duh! Lon, tell me he didn't trick you too. What? We have an octopus to fight! I've got this. So bad. They were right. I'd have to say that Mirage really was too hideous to be true. Need something? What now? Whose soul will you touch? What now? Goodbye. Cloud, you back here again? Yeah. With all of these records here, there may be something on the guy I'm after. What guy? Ah, impeccable timing, Cloud. This book has given me a wonderful idea, but I'll need your help. What? An opera? Not interested. No way! Now, now, not so fast. Celeste, what did you say to me the other day? Because I can recall you lamenting how gloomy the town has been since that whole vampire ordeal. I might have said something like that, but how does an opera figure in? With their little hearts broken like that, they may never enjoy a book again. 
Sid, it's not that tragic. Hmm? It's not? Take two. With their little hearts broken like that, they'll never find the courage to fend off all the Cogna. Oh, well, I suppose you're right about that. Do you see? This opera is perfect for unslumping the town's spirits. You don't expect us to. Yes. It features a mysterious hero and a beautiful heroine. Who could be better for the roles? Back in my younger years, I used to be head over heads for this libretto. I'm not some opera floozy. I refuse to embarrass myself on stage. Sorry, but you can count me out too. Oh, don't say that. In fact, you can't say that because you're already on the flyers. So as the saying goes, break a leg. I ought to break your leg for doing that. Okay, get rehearsing. What? Uh, hold it. So, he knows I'm not doing this. Is that her? I think Celeste is serious. Is she gonna do it? Oh, my hero. Hmm? What do you want? A mirage? <clears throat> What's going on? Cloud! This freak fell out of nowhere. Watch it. Ta-da! It's so quiet in here, I could hear an octopus drop. You can hardly blame me for wanting to take over the place and save it for my retirement. I just flopped in to see who was making all the noise. Nobody arpeggios in my new cartagio. Unless she happens to be a deliciously pretty lady. <laughs> who sent you? Was it the Federation? Yeah, <laughs> nope, never heard of him. I'm here to domesticate, not federate. And any bozo that gets in my way is gonna get mangled. Oh, but the young lady can stay and be my honey pie. This library is a sacred place. No one gave you permission to disturb it. Well, if you like your sacred library that much, I'd better do you a favor and hide it from anyone unsavory, huh? Here's a bright idea. Maybe I'll just squirt some ink all over these books. <laughs> Keep your tentacles off these books. I need them too. If you won't back off, then I know what's for dinner. I'm up for a little fancy cuisine myself. Not you again. Who, me? Oh, I'm just an innocent passerby. Really? Oh, uh, got it. Well, in that case... No one just passes through here, dummy! Huh? Oh, uh, let's do this!
Mama tried to warn me that the real estate market was going to crash. <sighs> Seems all the books are still intact. Thanks a lot, Cloud. I had my own reasons to help. Oh, and Celeste? Is that the libretto? Hmm? Oh! It's covered in that freak's ink! I guess that means the opera's cancelled, then. No, wait a sec! Maybe the duet at the end is still okay! Oh, well, it's not like we can put on half an opera. Let's just shelve this idea. I'm sure we can find another way to cheer up the townspeople, right? Oh, well, I suppose. What a shame, too. You got a nice voice. Anyway, I'm gonna keep hunting through some more of these records. <laughs> what do you know? So I wasn't the star of either performance, but that's all right. Hello. What now? Whose soul will you touch? soon? <laughs>